watch repeatedly while younger that influenced you the most to develop your style of directing? The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Mario Bava's Black Sabbath, and uh, Adam Costello meet Frankenstein. <laughs> and um, I think Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is probably obvious, all right, why it's been such an influence to me. Um, and uh, Black Sabbath, actually, I, I be- Mario Bava became one of the first directors that I got to know by name because I saw Black Sabbath on late night television and would like, kind of look forward to seeing it pop up again. He's a great Italian horror filmmaker. And uh, then I started noticing other movies in the TV Guide that had his name and they all had this big, cool, operatic quality about them. And, uh, and I have to say it was both, I think, Sergio Leone and... Uh, Mario Bava that got me thinking in terms of shots as opposed to just, uh, oh, uh, oh, I like this movie. Oh, this guy did a movie I like. Well, I'll see another movie that that guy does because I like that movie as opposed to just recognizing the name and hoping that another good movie would come out. I actually started recognizing a cinematic style and a signature and a quality in the movies that was just beyond a good movie versus another good movie or a not so good one. So even you know, even when I would see a Mario Bava movie I didn't like, I still recognized the style and uh, that same operatic quality. But... Uh, uh, Adam Castillo Meet Frankenstein is, that was probably my favorite movie when I was really, really, really young. And, um, and the thing about it, why I think it was so influential is I remember at that time period, my two favorite movies, types of movies in the world were monster movies. And in particular, I, you know, like I guess the universal monster movies uh, from the 30s and 40s, the oh, 30s. And, um, and, and, uh, uh, Screwball com not screwball comedies, but uh, uh, physical comedies like uh, Ab and Costello. I love them. All right, a lot of uh, every kid I knew at that time loved Ab and Costello. But Jerry Lewis, Ab and Costello, Laurel and Hardy. I thought all those guys were great, and those were like my favorite type of movies. I love W. C. Fields too. I was crazy for W. C. Fields, and um, and so when I watched Ab and Costello meet Frankenstein, it seemed it it was it bended my mind about the fact that. My two favorite genres, even though I didn't know what the word genre meant, all right, could be put put into one movie. I didn't know that you could do that. I always thought there, there's this kind of movie and then there's this kind of movie. And it was, you know, like uh, uh, chocolate and peanut butter. All right. Hey, you got your comedy in my uh, horror film. Hey, you got your horror film in my comedy. Hey, pretty good. Uh, but the fact that I was even, you know, at a little boy at seven or eight, uh, or even maybe even younger, making genre distinctions, not knowing that, because uh, uh, I literally thought, "Wow, this is the greatest movie ever." The two my two favorite types of movies in one. When it's scary, it's really scary, and when it's funny, it's really funny. And I guess I've been trying to do that a lot my the whole rest of my career. <laughs> <laughs> 